They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and oh boy were they right! Let's face it, there's been a hell of a lot of weird faces being shown in films, from creepy kids to angry ice cream men, and it doesn't always get better with age. But how about stretched? Or very, very naughty? Well, it doesn't really matter as long as they're happy, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, please do forget about catchphrases and costumes today as we'll be ranking the 50 strangest faces in movie history. Number 50. Captain Spaulding from The Devil's Rejects Rob Zombie's imagination has always been a haunting circus of freaks and monsters, but Captain Spaulding stands out as one of cinema's scariest clowns. The white face paint and blue eye shadow lure you into thinking he's a harmless children's entertainer until you catch a glimpse of his rotting, not-so-pearly whites and realize he's a pretty fucked up dude. You ain't got a reason why you hate clowns. I'm gonna kill your whole fucking family. Number 49. Mona, aka Hatchet Face from Crybaby Trust John Waters to cast one of the most handsome actors alongside one of the creepiest 1960s schoolgirls. The prosthetic makeup used to transform the late Kim McGuire into the disfigured girl in a gang of drapes might be what people remember from this early 90s comedy, but that lazy eye and pencil-thin eyebrows also deserve a shout-out. There's nothing the matter with my face. I got character. Number 48. Nubbin Sawyer from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre This murderous, unstable cannibal was so popular with movie fans that he appeared in the sequel, admittedly, as a corpse. And we can see why. His strange stories of making head cheese from cow heads at the slaughterhouse are iconic, and that birthmark is unmistakable. But it's the erratic smile and laughs that terrified viewers the most. They take the head and, and they boil it, except for the tongue. Number 47. Charlie Bailey Gates from Me, Myself, and Irene You know you're in for a character with a thousand faces when Jim Carrey takes the starring role, especially when he's playing not one, but two characters. Of all the rubbery antics that Carrie pulls off in this comedy from the Farrelly brothers, the most striking has to be when Charlie gets a spot of dry mouth from his medication. Advanced delusionary schizophrenia with involuntary narcissistic rage. Number 46. Sandy Witch from House Kay Lenz first appears in this comedy horror film as the beautiful estranged wife of horror writer Roger Cobb. It is only when she appears on his doorstep unannounced and transforms into one of the most grotesque women since The Wizard of Oz that you realize something strange is going on. But Cobb takes care of that with a few stern words and a gunshot. Say your prayers. Number 45. Smith from The Matrix Revolutions In this cyberpunk classic from the 90s, ex-agent Smith has now become a virus inside the Matrix, but after assimilating the Oracle, he unknowingly starts to portray one of the most iconic evil movie laughs in cinematic history. <laughs> Thank you, Hugo Weaving, for having the perfect face for this. <laughs> Number 44. Linda from The Evil Dead a cabin in the woods wasn't the idyllic getaway this girlfriend thought it'd be. By the time the Book of the Dead starts causing havoc to poor old Ash and his friends, Linda has gone from a damsel in distress with girl-next-door beauty to demon-possessed antagonist with white eyes and a tad too much rouge on the cheeks. Number 43. Long-Faced Ash from Army of Darkness the Evil Dead series is known for its goofy makeup and gruesome character designs, so it's fitting that lead character Ash walks away with the strangest visage. The scene where his face stretches is a firm fan favorite. It could have looked stranger because the original draft of the script had Ash lose an eye. Number 42. Larlene from Trailer Park of Terror this adaptation of the comic book series wouldn't be what it is without Larlene's creepy stare that was perfectly performed by Trisha Ray Stahl. And if Larlene wants her meat, you'd better give it to her right away. Notice the attention to detail with the rotten teeth and food stains? The grease is also a nice touch. Give me my mate. Come here. Number 41. Feral Kid from The Road Warrior Mad Max may have been one of Mel Gibson's earliest starring roles, but the feral kid from the sequel is a real scene-stealer. Who could forget that mane of wild hair and baby-teethed grin? In fact, the actor, Emil Minty, won the audition by coming up with his own backstory for how this kid winded up fending for himself. <laughs> Number 40. Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th 
Jason's hockey mask is as iconic as the horror franchise he terrorizes, even if he didn't get it until the third movie. Given how often he wears the mask, you might be surprised to learn we caught glimpses of his true face. In fact, there's the corpsey child Jason, the prototype Jason, the iconic Jason, the ultimate Jason, the zombie Jason, and there's even a slimy one. Yo, man, it's cool. It's cool, man. It's cool. Number 39. Quaid from Total Recall This Schwarzenegger 80s sci-fi thriller blesses us with two memorable faces. One is when Quaid gets his memories implanted and Arnie looks like he's been eating too much Taco Bell, but in the second, where Quaid is exposed to Mars' atmosphere, that still gives us nightmares. It's so fantastical, yet lifelike, that no wonder it won an Oscar for visual effects. Number 38. Demonic Baby from The Passion of the Christ Nothing makes an audience jump out of their cinema seat quite like a freaky-looking baby. The moment this babe turns from the arms of Satan to reveal its demonic appearance is unholy to say the least. The casting of Davide Morota was pitch perfect and every time he appeared on screen it was delightfully devilish. And yet, it was not the only strange face we saw in that movie. Number 37. Vera Cosgrove from Dead Alive Peter Jackson made a name for himself with gross-out comedy horrors, but of all his mutant creations, it's Vera that takes the cake. We'll spare you the gory details, but let's just say that this grumpy geriatrics pout doesn't stay on her face forever. Unless you're Canadian, the original cut was banned in Ontario until a recut R version was released. And you need him. And you need him. Number 36. Samuel from The Babadook Jennifer Kent's debut feature about a family haunted by a supernatural being made a splash upon release, as did the performance of Samuel by the six-year-old Noah Wiseman. His facial expressions when he freaks out in the car will make you guess there's something seriously wrong with him. But hey, it's a pretty impressive performance for a kid who just learned to tie his own shoes. I'm a bit tired from the drugs Bob gave me. Number 35. Katie Embry from The Ring the first death in a horror is the most important, and this reveal nailed it. The audience is left wondering exactly what happened to Katie after she saw the tape, so we are on the edge of the seat when we get the answer. The way this moment is built up, and the glimpse of the contortions on her face, is true movie genius. I saw her face. Number 34. Lloyd from Dumb and Dumber the moment we see Lloyd Christmas grinning from the car window, we know we're watching the emergence of an iconic comedy actor. The bowl cut is a nice touch, but the real subtlety is in the chipped tooth, which is real. Jim Carrey had a cap placed on it years earlier, but removed it to better capture Lloyd's goofiness. <laughs> Number 33. Old Lady from The Others Next to kids, the scariest thing in horror movies are old ladies, especially when they have white hair and thick cataracts. That's why combining both is a rare treat for scary movie fans. The way the old lady stares up from behind the veil is haunting. In fact, making the movie was so scary that Nicole Kidman quit a few times in rehearsals. Come with us, children. Come with us. <laughs> Number 32. Drayton Sawyer from The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Playing the patriarch of the murderous Sawyer family needed an actor who could unnerve an audience with a simple look. They got it in spades with Jim Cito. His crooked smirk and calculating eyes let us know that Drayton Sawyers is cooking up something sinister. Well, he is the head chef of a cannibal clan after all. Number 31. The Grand High Witch from The Witches This glimpse of a true face became an entire generation's nightmare fuel. Most hours of the day, Angelica Houston's character wore a human mask to fool those around her, but there came a brief moment when viewers were horrified to see the monster underneath. Except Roald Dahl. Houston was his personal favorite choice for the role of the disgusting Grand High Witch. Was that good? I asked him. Got any more? <laughs> Number 30. Cuddles Kavinsky from Polyester. Snaggletooth Green? Check. Beady Eyes? Check. Missing teeth? Double check! Edith Massey knocked it out of the park when it came to playing the paranoid housewife in John Waters' suburbia set comedy. In fact, her look appeared in a few Waters pictures, but this was the last film they collaborated on as she would pass away from complications from diabetes. Rest in peace, Edith! Grand theme, happiness, 
is a picnic in the woods. <laughs> Number 29, Austin Powers from Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Who could resist the sex appeal of prosthetic British teeth and thick glasses? This face was everywhere in the 90s, yet the franchise only emerged when Mike Myers was improvising voices on a car ride home from hockey practice. He tried his voice out by flirting with his wife, who just laughed in his face, so he turned it into a script. There have been fabulous advances in the field of dentistry. What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. Number 28, Ice Cream Man from Legion. Ice cream vendors aren't the go-to for scary demons, so on first glance, this lanky, pale businessman seems like a misstep. But our demon-fighting angel, Legion, knows better, because once the frozen dairy entrepreneur starts stretching, they're in trouble. You might not recognize actor Doug Jones, but you've definitely seen him play creatures in Hellboy, Pan's Labyrinth, and The Shape of Water. Oh man, he don't look that bad. <laughs> Number 27. Esther from Orphan. Is it a girl? Is it a woman? That's the question everyone asks when they watch the suspicious behavior of this orphan. It's only when Esther wipes off her makeup do we start to put the pieces together. To nail the creepiness of the popular poster, they flipped actress Isabel Furman's face so that it was perfectly symmetrical and perfectly unsettling. You're a great father and a handsome man. Number 26, Large Marge from Pee-wee's Big Adventure. At first, the truck driver, Large Marge, seems like a typical oddball in a Tim Burton movie. She starts telling Pee-wee a ghost story, drawing us in closer and closer, until she turns and pulls a comically tarrying face. But the most unsettling thing is how actress Alice Nunn never blinks during the entire time she tells the story. Be sure and tell them Large Marge sent ya! <laughs> Number 25. Peter Lowe from Vampire's Kiss. You know his face, and you've seen the memes. Only Nicolas Cage can pull off such a stare, but his face only gets crazier when the vampire teeth kick in. And although the movie was a flop when it first released, it's still considered a fine blueprint of Cage's career, which is filled with all sorts of crazy performances. I can squeeze you in on Monday afternoon. Can you make that? Oh, no. Number 24, Queen Carlotta from Desperate Living. Edith Massey is back, this time with a regal flair as Her Royal Majesty, the Queen of Mortville. It's fair to say her trademark toothless smile is the least controversial thing in the movie. Let's be honest, she's not exactly the vision of beauty when it comes to royalty, which makes her ghastly appearance stand out even more. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm Her Royal Highness and I demand that you address me as such. Number 23, Willy Wonka from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Johnny Depp channeled Michael Jackson to pull off this mannequin-esque version of the celebrated chocolatier. For some, the perfectly curtained page boy hairdo is a sign of this synthetic persona, but for some, it's the fake set of pearly whites. As for the voice, Depp says he first tried it out on his daughter, who gave him a thumbs up. You know? <laughs> You're really weird. Number 22, The Phantom from Inland Empire. Strange faces might stand out in another movie, but in a David Lynch flick, it's a normal thing. Yet no one could prepare for the true image of the hallway phantom who goes from back alley bum to badly photoshopped circus freak. The movie is so strange that marketing executives could only promote the film with a simple synopsis, a woman in trouble. Number 21, Beetlejuice from Beetlejuice. This character makes for a recognizable Halloween costume, so be sure to thank Michael Keaton as part of the design came down to him. His choice of the shocking hair, mold makeup, and large teeth was such a winner that the crew cheered juice, juice, juice when he turned up on set. What I mean is, can you be scary? What do you think of this? <laughs> you like it? Number 20, The Mask from, well, The Mask. This iconic Jim Carrey role was the perfect vehicle for his rubbery-faced antics. In fact, casting the cartoonish and flexible star helped save a ton of money on the film's special effects because they didn't need to enhance them digitally, except for the moments when his eyes pop out, of course. <laughs> Number 19, Laura Weaver from Smile. You know your movie has a memorable face when it's the backbone of your viral marketing campaign. It makes the reveal in the movie all the more frightening, like when Laura tries to convince a therapist about the hauntings. Amazingly, the smiles are not made or enhanced by the special effects team. You're looking at the actors do the creepy smile for themselves. It's like it wears people's faces like, like masks. 
Number 18. Sloth from the Goonies The makeup team did a great job of creating a character that is creepier looking yet cute at the same time. It took five hours to put the makeup on John Matuzak and came with electric eyes and ears. It was so effective that he was banned from leaving set in case he terrified locals. Number 17. Divine from Pink Flamingos Hands down, John Waters' most famous visual is the appearance of Divine. The angular eyebrows, the eye makeup, and the beauty spot are the real stars of his collaboration with the late drag queen performer. In fact, it is rumored that Divine's image inspired Ursula in Disney's The Little Mermaid, which is rather odd as, according to some, Divine's face represents the Queen of Filth. You are about to receive into your community the filthiest people alive! Number 16. Old Lady from The Shining The build-up to what is behind Room 237 is a masterstroke of suspense and tension, but it's how Kubrick baits and switches the bathing babe for the decaying old lady that is a real tour de force. It's hard to know what the scariest part of her design is – the toothless mouth, the warped face, or thinning, wiry hair. <laughs> Number 15. Frank the Rabbit from Donnie Darko Rabbits are hard to make scary, which is why the imaginary sort of apparition following Donnie is so memorable. Don't worry if you didn't understand the movie, though. You're not alone. Both Jake Gyllenhaal and Seth Rogen confessed to each other at the rap party that they had no idea what the movie was about. I can see you right now! <laughs> Number 14. Quasimodo from The Hunchback of Notre Dame this name rings a bell. It's who everyone thinks of when they imagine a disfigured character with a heart of gold. In order to convincingly play a character who had been deafened by ringing bells, Charles Lawton plugged his ears with wax so he couldn't react to unexpected sounds. As for the face, it took two hours of makeup every day. I'm about as shapeless as the man in the moon. <laughs> Number 13. Pale Man from Pan's Labyrinth Doug Jones is back, this time playing the titular Fawn, better known as the terrifying Pale Man. This is the only entry on the list whose eyes are in the palms of his hands. To look out of the costume, he had to peer down the nostrils, so given the makeup took five hours, that means he spent most of the working day blind. Number 12. Zombie Baby from Dead Alive Peter Jackson is back on this list again with his absolutely grotesque creation of Baby Selwyn, but it's only by chance that this hideous infant made the cut. Once production wrapped, Jackson was ahead of schedule and under budget, so he spent the remaining $45,000 on the park scene, which ended up being his favorite. <laughs> Number 11. Hysterical Ash from Evil Dead 2 Sam Raimi's Ash makes a comeback on this list, too, this time with a face you've no doubt seen in memes. At the time, no one knew this moment would become iconic. It happens after a lengthy buildup of a shootout with Dark Forces before we are finally met with Bruce Campbell's spine-tingling laugh along with haunted furniture. <laughs> Number 10. John Merrick from The Elephant Man this touching true story was captured beautifully by John Hurt's role as the disfigured John Merrick. Hair and makeup took up to eight hours each day, plus two hours to remove. It was so grueling that after the first day on set, John Hurt called his wife to say, I think they finally managed to make me hate acting. My name is John Merrick. I'm very pleased to meet you. Good. Number 9. Alex DeLarge from A Clockwork Orange the Kubrick stare is best encapsulated by the cheeky grin of the mischievous Malcolm McDowell. He runs a gauntlet of all of the many strange faces throughout the movie, from dry-heaving science experiment, to smug prisoner, to terrified ex-con. The audience sees the whole emotional spectrum of this character played out on his face. <laughs> Number 8. Charlie Graham from Hereditary Millie Shapiro's face has become synonymous with this story of a family haunted by cultish ghosts and demons. But that's partly down to the actress's cleidocranial dysostosis, a birth defect that affects the formation of bones and teeth. She's even got some negative comments about her appearance in the movie, but was quick to come to her own defense. Number 7. Banjo Kid from Deliverance 
not many faces bring music to the minds of the viewer, which makes this entry unique. It's probably because it was the first scene the production team shot. Yet Billy Redden didn't know how to play the banjo. They got another player to thread their arms through his, which means the music playing hands aren't his, but the face is. Damn, you play a mean banjo. Number 6. Annie Wilkes from Misery Kathy Bates was a Karen before Karens hit the big time. The contemptuous glare and patronizing smile are the epitome of any customer demanding to see the manager. In fact, Stephen King was so impressed with her performance that he wrote more characters with the intention of having her play them. Others were impressed too because this role scooped Kathy Bates an Oscar. This isn't fair! He didn't get out of the cock a duty car! Number 5. Ace Ventura from movies Pet Detective and When Nature Calls Every Jim Carrey character has a unique face, so it makes sense that his breakout role is this high on the list. The voice and mannerisms were added by Carrey himself when the script wasn't feeling right, and his other improvements included requesting that the script be as physically zany as possible, and that Ventura had to be a competent detective. <laughs> Number 4. Amy from Fright Night this comedy horror about neighborhood vampires builds to a thrilling display of stunning special effects when the girlfriend of Charlie goes through a horrific transformation. It's certainly a far cry from typical vampire faces, who usually have two protruding canines instead of Nasher-filled jaws and bloodshot eyes. You promise? Amy. <laughs> Number 3. Mason Verger from Hannibal Gary Oldman is unrecognizable as the disfigured survivor of Hannibal Lecter, yet Oldman was almost not credited at all for his haunting portrayal of the paralyzed antagonist. His name was removed from the poster and only added to home releases on VHS and DVD. Oldman stated this was all a bit of fun as he was playing the man with no face. Number 2. The Thing from The Thing the creature with a thousand faces has many memorable iterations during John Carpenter's special effects sci-fi extravaganza. One of the standouts is known as Split Face, when two victims are consumed and melted together. Shockingly, the movie never received an Oscar for its amazing visual effects. And finally, our number one pick is Rocky from the movie Mask. Based on the inspiring true story of the short-lived life of Roy Dennis, aka Rocky, a boy born with an extremely rare bone disorder. Eric Stoltz spent so much time under the heavy makeup that he needed to show ID to be led into the film's rap party. He also had to introduce himself to co-stars who had not yet seen him without the titular mask. Not surprisingly, the film won an Oscar for Best Makeup for how well it captures the likeness of Rocky in this touching biographical movie. Hey, you in the back, take that mask off so I can see who I'm talking to. Well, I'll try, but it ain't gonna be easy. So which face is your favorite from cinema history? Tell us in the comments below and let us know which face you think should be on the list. Share this with a fan of iconic movie visuals and leave a like if you want more lists like this. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and get alerted of our next video. We'll hope to see you soon!